Hello internet, it's been a while. I'm not sure about the middle part. I've been trying it lately just as a change occasionally, but we'll see if it stays. It usually doesn't. Today I'm gonna to be doing a video about my winter favorites. I kind of just wanted to do a favorites video of all my favorite things over the last few months. So I kind of just was like, it's winter, that'll, yeah, that'll work. So if some are like, ah, oh, it's not really winter themed, don't be surprised, I'm just crazy. So however many months ago, me and my friend went op shopping and I found Mad Men. I really have enjoyed it. It's been different. Like I feel like it's more almost experimental in a way. It's very like reflective on the main character and you kind of hate him, but you kind of love him. Like you can't help but love him. He's such a douchebag, but you just kind of, I don't know, it's, mm. Food wise, I've been doing this 30 day no sugar, no carbs, and no alcohol kind of challenge. I mean, it's not an online challenge that a lot of people do, it's just my own personal challenge that I made for myself. Some of you might have heard of the paleo diet, the caveman diet thing that's, you know, just meat and veggies. You cut out all the processed foods basically and eat like a caveman. And my dad does that. We just kind of look at food, it's like if it has shit in it chemical-y stuff, artificial stuff, wheat or sugar, then we try to avoid them. And alcohol is okay to have, like red wine and you know, the straight, even just straight vodka and all that. But I kind of felt like I should have given my body a month off, especially since it was my 19th birthday the week before I started and it was basically a five day bender and I just felt <laughs> like shit. But I'm on day 29 today, so tomorrow's my last day of it. I think I'm going to try and continue because I just feel so much better and although I'm kind of craving pizza a bit, I feel like I can just slowly like ease things in here and there and obviously it's really hard like going out with friends and even just going to friends houses because obviously they're going to have carbs and they're going to have stuff with sugar in it and obviously you can always avoid alcohol but the other two it's so hard to find in just a restaurant even just something without any wheat in it or something without any sugar i recommend anyone giving it a shot if you work a lot it's actually easier because you kind of just like make little snack things for yourself like i take carrot sticks to work and even just like an apple here and there i've also been doing the 30 day squat and ab challenge so i'm only on day 10 of that i kind of started late and that's kind of been killing me a bit, but hopefully I'll look super hot really soon. <laughs> Before I run on this 30 day cold turkey alcohol thing, my favorite drink was a Long Island iced tea. And my best friend got me this Long Island iced tea kit for my birthday and it was so cute. She had all the little mini alcohol things to make the Long Island iced tea. And for those of you who don't know, it's like a drink with six different shots of alcohol. So there's like tequila, triple sec, vodka, um, rum, Bacardi I think, oh, and some others that I don't remember but there's a lot and then like a splash of coke or something, it's crazy but it's so good, they're so good. The next favourite is kind of not a winter favourite as such, I got it at Christmas time last year but I've kind of just started re-appreciating it again in winter because it's our winter in Australia. And it is this Christmas cookie candle and I know it looks a bit burnt because I've <clears throat> used it so much but it is seriously the best smelling thing I've ever smelled in my life and I am obsessed, obsessed. But it ran out and I was really sad so for my birthday because they don't sell the candles at the moment on the online store because well it's not Christmas. One of my really good friends sought out these amazing air fresheners of the Christmas cookie candle. So I just popped one in my car and my car always smells like a Christmas cookie. It's like a, oh, it's my favorite all time thing. So thank you, Yankee Candle. Movie wise, I saw that Lucy movie where she gets like the drugs into her and they spill and then she can use up like more of her brain capacity than any other human because humans only use 10%. 
she gets up to like a hundred and I won't spoil anything but my parents thought it was a bit kind of like too far at the end and some people have really not liked it but I really enjoyed it and I thought it kind of just made me think a lot about like wow like we waste so much brain power. The next movie I really really liked like probably my favorite of the year so far I don't know if it was in winter, it might have been before that, but I'm literally the worst person with like sense of time, so I don't know, I'm just gonna say it was in winter. It was the new X-Men movie and oh my god, it was fucking fantastic. Just so many things came together and like I love Hugh Jackman, he's my absolute fave and it was such a good story, I really just enjoyed it and thought it was fantastic, like I left being like, whoa. And lastly, I rewatched The Dead Poet Society after Robin Williams' death, which was so, so sad. And it's just horrible to think that someone so funny and like full of life was so sad and didn't feel like he could have anything worth living for almost. And that, you know, no matter how much you have in life and how much you've succeeded, you still don't feel happy in yourself. Another oldie but a goodie. I found this ring that was my mum's, I think from her sister when she was younger and I kind of just thought I'm nearly 20 and I say nearly, I just turned 19 in my mind, almost 20. I kind of feel like as an adult now I should have like, I don't know, some like rings maybe or a ring and it'd be like significant-y and adult-y. Also whilst op shopping I got this awesome cardigan thing. I got two jumpers that were like in the men's section and they're like grandpa -y jumper things and the colours are just awesome and I've been wearing them all the time. Love them to death. One has like these leather elbow pads and I feel like a scholar. I also got these cute little film earrings. They are so adorable. They're just like little camera things and I just thought since I sort of study film slash did that they'd be cute okay and lastly all time favourite thing it's been going for a while but just in winter I've been really 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 going for it and it's collars I just love the whole collar look and I have so many stuff but I feel like I don't have any I don't have enough jumper things to like get the collar in there but yeah love them I'll do a little showing of them and yeah so they're my winter favourites, or sort of winter favourites, last few month favourites. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, I'm sorry I haven't been doing many lately, I've literally just been working a lot and saving and saving and saving, but I will try and make more. Thanks for watching, hope you liked it, subscribe, like the video, bye!